So first things first is our Common Threads Recycling Program and um, we have got a program that enables our company to recycle um, some of our clothing at the end of its useful life. Um, our goal is by 2010 to have everything um, that our company makes recyclable and right now that we're able to f facilitate a few of our items such as Polar Tech Fleet, any Patagonia Organic Cotton T-shirt, and any um, of our Kathleen base layers. So every shop has a drop-off point for these garments that are no longer usable. We always encourage people to donate them if they still have life left in them. But at the end of its life, we're trying to take responsibility. And um, by doing so, we're able to collect our garments. Um, we don't ship them off until we have heaps and heaps and heaps of them. We send them all to corporate or to our Reno offices. From there, they go to um, the Tasian factory in Japan. Um, in Japan, they go through a process to make new fibers out of old materials. Um, they first shred them into fab fabric, um, chopped up fabric pieces. They make them into fabric pellets. They grind them down into raw material and then re-thread them into virgin fibers. So it's not like you're old, wearing old smelly clothes. It is actually a new fiber, um, which is really exciting. So a lot of our garments, you'll actually see the Common Threads Recycling logo on there, and that shows you that you're wearing um, a garment with recycled content. Um, so that's just a really gloss coat of what um, our Common Threads Recycling program is all about. Next thing I'll talk to you guys about is our uh, surfboards. Our surfboards are a little unique. They're made of, um, they're all epoxy, hand-shaped in Ventura, California. They are made with extruded polystyrene foam cores. Um, so these are not pop-outs, they are a craft, and we've got a very amazing team up in Ventura that does everything on the boards from start to finish. Um, we have our blanks, we assemble the blanks in the factory, cut the rocker, shape the boards, and glass them all there under one roof, which is quite phenomenal um, in today's surf industry. Um, the extruded polystyrene surfboards, they emit fewer VOCs, so that's volatile organic compounds, so they're less of an impact on our environment. Um, they're also more durable, they're super sturdy, they're lightweight, and um, having a more durable board, you're able to hold on to it a lot longer, and thus going through less boards, less boards going to landfill. And, um, pretty exciting. So, that's our surfboard. Uh, next um, on our list <laughs> is our wetsuits. Our wetsuits are quite the talk of the surf industry right now. They're, we just got a new generation in for this follow eight. Um, our suits are all lined with merino wool. The wool is all chlorine free, so they're not treated with any harsh chemicals. Um, we utilize a high density of limestone derived or limestone based uh, rubber, so we're using less petrol chemicals. We're really careful. We don't say that our wetsuit is green by any means, but um, it's a step in the right direction. Again, with our wetsuit, same as our surfboards, we we want to believe that they are um, more durable, and by being more durable, you're going through less wetsuits per year, um, or over the years. Our, our suit will last more than one season with proper care, and um, so therefore we have um, a better wetsuit for, for the general public. Um, then every year, our, our environmental program um, up in corporate, we have a initiative that can span over the course of a year, a year and a half, or even longer if necessary. But our most current, um, most current initiative is called the Freedom to Roam campaign. The Freedom to Roam campaign is basically just establishing a network of pathways for animals to um, migrate, promoting biodiversity. And in lieu of recent climate change and everything like that, it's even more necessary to take responsibility and kind of do something to prevent, promote biodiversity and promote migration patterns that um, these animals would be going through if it weren't for the human, our human population with all of our ultra development. So, um, yeah, it's just another campaign that Patagonia is running and we're hoping to educate the public so that they can take part in those.
For more information, go to Patagonia.com. There's heaps of information on all our environmental initiatives, campaigns, and what we do. And if you have any questions, give anybody a, any uh, shop a call, and we'll definitely be able to help.